Hello everyone, this is Priyanka Dubey here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Priyanka. I help people getting online clients and I also help them introducing new tools and websites and hacks I use in my own business. So this is a go-to channel for anyone who works online plus who makes use of a lot of tools and uh, softwares in their business or in their work. So yes, today in this video, I'm going to explain how you can make use of spreadsheets. Spreadsheets is used by everyone, I guess. So I also make use of spreadsheets to uh, take a track of my clients, clients number, their work and everything else. So in this video, I'm just going to explain the top five tips that you can start doing with your spreadsheets. So the first tip is that let's suppose that we have a large sum of numbers over here in this case i'm just giving giving an example of budget you can just take anything like sales or whatever it is and you can put as many numbers as you want so in that case what happens is that when we keep a track of our budget we want to see like how does it looks like because there are a lot of raw numbers over there and we do not know that how does it looks like when when my budget went off or my vengeant budget went like low or high or whatever it is so in that case uh this is the one i will say hack i use that is called sparkline so let's see how does it work okay so after like hundreds or thousands of number you have uh, on this spreadsheet what you have to do is you want to see the graphs like how does it looks so in that case you just have to type equal then spark line once you select it you just have to go ahead and you have to select all these numbers which you want to keep track of once you do that you just have to uh, press enter and then you will get to see this chart over here let me uh, let me just give it some more space over here so now you will get to see that how my uh, how my chart looks like that okay I had such kind of budget over there then there was a spike right and if I have to if I, I will go ahead and I will change it the things will change as well like it is dynamic okay so uh, this is how it works and let's suppose that this is the first step like you are done with all these things and now you want to ask your team member that okay why why the budget is so high here or why this budget is so low here so in that case you want to ask someone and, th and that is the tip too let's suppose that i just want to ask about this i will just simply click and then i will add comment and i will comment like um why this is so low or whatever and if i will comment over here you you will get to see that there is a small yellow dot over here and there is my comment and that is so cool that people when once they will check the uh, spreadsheet they will get to see this okay priyanka has some comment over here but they will not get notified and we do not want that we want that people should uh, respond to it immediately so in that case what i will do is i will simply delete it first of all and then i'm going to show you that what we have to do instead so I will simply delete it and then what I will do is I will go ahead I will comment and I will comment why this is low and then I will add plus sign and then name okay now when you once you will do the plus sign you will get to see all the contacts of your uh, list but once you will start typing the name you will get to see the name of the person like this is my email id so this is the this is my uh, this is the person whom i want to send i'm just taking you i'm just giving you an example so if i select it i will get to see this option that is assigned to you if i will check it it will get assigned to me if i will click this button but if i want to mention someone else i can do that and this will add people to this discussion and it will also send them an email so if i want to send someone uh, this message i can simply select their email id over here and uh, and i can assign them and i can just comment once i will 
uh, click on this button they will get notified that Priyanka has asked something on this spreadsheet and they are asking for a like a budget question and then they have to respond and they have to resolve so this is quite easy and this is quite cool I guess okay so the third tip is let's let's assume that we have hundreds of emails with us and we do not know that if it is a real one or it is a fake one now Google Sheets can also help you in uh, recognizing that if it is a real email ID or a fake email ID because emails are used for everything like in my business I used email of my customers to send them emails regularly um, so I, I export them into the MailChimp or any other email software tool so in that case let's suppose that you have hundreds of email over here I'm just giving an example over here so let's just I'm writing some few like uh, write gmails email id and the fake ones okay so let's get into it okay let's suppose that we have these five emails with us and we have to check if it is real or fake so in that case you simply have to go into the first column where there is an email id and then you have to simply click equal and then you have to write is email okay once you do that you just have to go into the email id and you have to select it and then you have to enter now it is false why because i have here a uh, inserted a comma which is not right it should be a full stop over here do a dot it should be but it is comma that's why it is showing me false and that means it is correct right now what you have to do is you have to simply go ahead and you have to extend it like this and then you will get to see if the email id is real or fake okay so this is a very cool i will say technique to get to understand that if the email IDs you are getting and you need to send emails to are real or fake. Now getting back to the fourth Nowadays we use QR codes everywhere like you, we use QR codes to uh, send money, we use QR codes to receive money, we use QR codes like everywhere okay. So let's suppose that you have a lot of uh, I will say websites, websites and website pages as well. So let's suppose you are creating a new website named like priyanka.com or whatever it is you know I'm just giving you an example. So QR code is something which you can do for all your websites and your website pages and you can send that to your designers, you can send that to your copywriters, you can send to, to that your customers or anywhere without juggling with like hundreds and thousands of websites. Also if you're a website designer you got to have like a thousands of test website you got to have like thousands of uh, client websites and it is quite bulky to use so in that case what i will suggest is have this uh, code with you i will uh, drop this code in the description so you can just go ahead and you can check it out and simply what you are going to do is you are simply going to copy this once you copy this you just have to go ahead here and then it is like a3 a1 a2 a3 so in that case I will simply go ahead and I will change this a1 to a3 okay because this is my a1 a2 a3 a1 a2 a3 this is in the a3 uh, box so I am simply going to select here I am going to select enter okay once I do that I will get to see that i have a qr code here so what i will do is i will simply okay you get to see that it has been largened now if you have other uh, web pages over here you can write it down and you can simply go ahead and you can simply drag it like this and you will get to see all the QR codes over here and you can use it individually for 
every other single page and it is quite easy you can see it is quite fun because all you have is your QR code you can simply copy this one like I will go ahead I will copy it and I can paste it like anywhere if I want okay so you can do this as well like this I just pasted it okay so you can do that now coming to our last tip that I'm gonna give you is that how you can get to see the cleaned name for example let's suppose that I have Priyanka Dubey I have like names like that okay let's give it some space I have I'm just taking an example now I have a space and then I have a name then I have like this let's suppose that I have this kind of name list over here in thousands and I have to make sure that all I get is cleaned names I do not want such kind of names with a lot of spaces without any proper uh, I will say functioning without any proper spaces over there so in that case what I will do is I will simply go in the front of the name and I will click trim that is T R I M okay so what it does it is removes space characters so I will simply select it over here and I will select this one and enter now you will get to see that Priyanka Dubey with a lot of spaces in front and in the middle it, it is get getting into a cleaned name and I simply go over here and I will simply drag it down and you will get to see that all the names have been into a cleaned form without any extra spaces without looking weird in a very cleaned manner so yeah this is all for the day I hope you enjoyed the video if yes feel free to subscribe it if not that's fine Feel free to share with your friends that uses spreadsheets a lot and yes, I will see you in the next video.